goes there? I am Riff of the Fox Tribe and Associates. We seek passage. And passage you shall have. All you have to do is pay the toll. Us? Pay you? Dog must have gotten a hold of a bad bone. By whose authority is this highway robbery allowed to happen? Prince. Prince who? Prince, that's it, just Prince. He's our leader. Ringleader, you mean. And this Prince expects us to give him money just to pass through? It's either that, or you do not pass at all. On the other hand, Prince is very fond of amusement. I'm sure that if you told him but a few humorous stories, he would not only grant you safe passage, but make you his honored guests as well. Not bad. A few jokes and we're out of here. Do you think you can come up with some humorous stories? Are you joking? I'll have him rolling on the floor. Take us to this prince. We'll teach him what amusement is all about. Right this way. I'm bored. Bored. I need something to do. Oh, let's do something. We can go chase wagons along the road. Maybe you could throw me a stick and I could bring it back. No, no. Today, I feel like howling. I haven't had a good howl in a long time. Hey, everyone, how about a good group howl? <gasps> Felt great. But now I am bored again. My prince, there are three travelers at the gate who wish passage. Did you say travelers? That's right. They say they're on their way to the wild lands. Well, bring them in. Enter! Welcome, welcome, my friend. To whom have I the pleasure of addressing? I am Riff of the Fox Tribe. These are my associates. Lieutenant Ia of the Guard of the Forest King. And Sergeant Ock of the Boar Tribe. We seek passage to the Wildlands. But we must respectfully decline your request for a toll. I see. Well, my needs are small. And a bit of amusement is certainly worth as much as money to me. Then perhaps I could entertain you with some amusing stories. Very well. You may proceed. Good evening, ladies and germs. Hmm. Uh, uh, two bats are in their cave. Don't ask me. I was just hanging around. That is. Okay, here's one. A magistrate is walking down the street when he bumps into a bear pulling a wagon with three penguins in it. And the bear says, yes, and they liked it so much, today we're going to the beach. Do you have any stories from this century? Once there were two foxes who deeply offended the local constable. The constable swore to lock the foxes in the dungeon. So the foxes decided to dress up as females. And in the end, the rich merchant says, Oh, well, nobody's perfect. Heard it? It seems that you have neither paid the toll, nor have you managed to amuse me. My, my, this is a disappointment. And then we will be on our way and bother you no more. Oh, contraire. You will yet provide me with amusement. Only this time, it will be on my terms. Cards? What? Take our guests to the dungeon until I decide what to do with them. Oh! What happened? Apparently, Prince really didn't like that last story. Where are we? We're either in the dungeon or the worst inn in the world.
This brick looks loose. If I just had something to dig it out with. It's definitely Did someone call me? Is everything all right? I like my prisoners. They're all my friends. Please, let me be your friend. Would, would, would you like me to get you something? How about some food? Fetch us some food. I can do that. I can get you food. You wait, just wait, and I'll bring you good food. Here it is. Here's the food. Are we supposed to eat this with our hands? Oh, no. No hands. Just stick your face right in. I don't think so. A spoon? I've heard of those. I think we have one in the museum. I'll go get it. You just wait. Here you go. I think this is a spoon. Do you like it? Is, is it a good one? You really love your job, don't you? Excuse me, do you know what Prince intends to do with us? No, I'm sorry, but I'm sure it's something fun. Prince is a good master, good master. We don't want anything more. You can go now. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Have I done something wrong? No, no, we like you. You've been a good jailer. Good jailer. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you later then, all right? I feel strangely stronger, but ugh, what a taste. I'll try this. Hey, it's working! The mortar's coming out! Do you think you've removed enough mortar to get the brick out? We shall know very shortly, my friends. One, two, three, push! That's it! At last, do you see anything in there? The tunnel is too small for me, and probably too small for... 
It appears that I am the only one who will fit through this opening. Very well. However, I do not like sending you out of here by yourself. I'll be back as quickly as I can to free you. In the meantime, please try not to kill each other. I suppose there's nothing to do now except wait. Freedom at last! Uh-oh. The tunnel is too small for me. It appears... I suppose... Freedom at last!
Let's see where we are. Let's see where we are. Let's see where we At last, perhaps I can find food and shelter here. Halt! Stand where you are. That should be easy enough. Where else can I stand except where I am? I'm not impressed by your clever answers. I hereby declare you my prisoner. It's about time. What? Come, come. I am your prisoner. Lock me up. Confine me to quarters. It's getting late. Well, what are you waiting for? My prison cell awaits. Stand where you are. There's that phrase again. Prepare to meet the chiefess. Bow before Brown. I am honored to stand before you. Identify yourself. I am Riff of the Fox Tribe at your service. I have seen neither you nor your kinsmen in these parts before. My village is far to the south. And what brings you here? I am on a quest to return an item that was stolen from my people. We believe that it was stolen by a raccoon that lives to the north of here. And what sort of item was stolen? A wondrous globe known as the Orb of Storms. It predicts the weather and the seasons. Such an item would be valuable indeed. Very well. You may pass through our village unharmed. Peace be with you. My attendant will see to your comfort. Now, if you will excuse me, I am needed elsewhere. Follow me. I will show you where you can sleep tonight. Your chiefess has a sadness about her. She is extremely concerned about the health of her daughter, Merp. What's wrong with her? Merp was on a hunting expedition in the mountains, when a sudden thunderstorm caused her to lose her footing and fall. Was she badly hurt? Her wounds were not bad, but it took the hunting party three days to return to the village. By then, her wounds had become infected. What is her condition now? She is quite weak and delirious, and not expected to last much longer. Poor Prawa, Murk is her beloved, and her hope for our tribe. Please accept my gratitude for your gracious hospitality. Well, Traveler, did you have a good night? Very comfortable indeed. 
I would like to repay you if possible. I understand your daughter is quite ill. Then you understand correctly. We had hoped to see an improvement in her condition, but those hopes are fading by the day. May I examine her wound? Are you a healer? No, but in my travels I encounter many different people. If any of them can provide assistance, I shall do everything in my power to aid you in your plight. If you can help in any way, you shall have my undying gratitude. Follow me. No, no! Look out! The rocks are falling! Falling! Help me, help me! She has been like this for several days. Her fevered mind keeps reliving the accident. I fear she will not be able to hold on much longer. Then I had best make haste. I promise to do everything I can to find a solution. Do not lose hope. On the contrary, you have restored my hope. Good luck, Rith. Help me! Help me! I'm so hot! I'm burning! Burning! Hold on, my darling! You must hold on! Help me! I'm so... Hold on! Prowa! Rith! You're here! What news have you brought me? I'm afraid it's not very good. I have been unable to find a remedy for your daughter's condition. You were our last... I will return as soon as I find a solution. Let's see Is anyone in there? Hello? Go away! Her hospitality is underwhelming. I know. I'll slip the letter under the door. She'll read it and let me in. She is, after all, a cat. And her curiosity will surely get the better of her. Then again, maybe not. I must deliver this for... I must deliver... If at first you don't succeed, block the bottom of the door. I seem to have missed an opening. All right, if that's the way you want to play, go ahead, try to throw the letter out now. Oops. A letter from Ilara. Why, it's been forever since I heard from her. I suppose she's still involved with that sanctuary thing. She always did like that hoodoo. Yes, in fact, she... But what about you? Surely you didn't come all the way up here just to bring me this letter, did you? No, ma'am. I'm on a quest to... Where are my manners? Would you like something to eat? Poor thing, you must be half starved. You come in and tell me all about yourself while I fix us a little snack. 
very well. And sit up straight. Young people need to watch their posture, or by the time you're my age, you'll be round-shouldered. You don't want that, do you? No, ma'am, I... Well, all right then. Go ahead, tell me all about yourself. What are you doing here? I'm on a quest to recover the Orb of Storms, which was stolen from its sanctuary at the temple. I saw the smoke coming from the chimney and decided to stop. Well, it's a good thing you did. Or you'd be wandering around lost, for sure. Land sakes, you've had quite an adventure, haven't you? Yes. And I fear it is far from over. Now I must try to locate a doctor for Prawa's daughter. I feel she will not last much longer. I know of no doctors in this area. However, there are some folk remedies that we have used for many years. And they work? Child, these remedies have been around a lot longer than those newfangled medicines. They work just fine. Can you tell me what these remedies are? Of course. I can make one up for you. First, we'll need some honey. Honey? I mean to cure her, not sweeten her. The honey will act as an astringent to draw out the fever. I'll give you a bowl to gather it in. This will help her delirium? Once the fever is broken, the delirium will subside. What about the pain? We will put catnip leaves into the salve to help ease the pain. Also make a tea from the leaves. It will act as a sedative for her. What can I use to heal the wound? Is the wound open? Yes, it is. Then you must also get a needle and thread to sew up the wound. Sew up the wound? Oh, I don't think... You must be brave. If the wound is not sewn up, none of the other ingredients will be effective. Where can I find these materials? Honey bees make their combs mostly in hollow trees. Catnip grows best in moist soil, so look around lakes and streams. Just look around you. And the needle and thread? That may prove to be more difficult. Alas, I have none myself, or I would gladly donate them. Perhaps another village or a traveling merchant could be of help? And these ingredients are all I need to make the cure? Landsakes, no, child. Those are just the ingredients I don't already have. Find those ingredients, bring them back to me, and you shall have your salve. Then I'd best be on my way. I have a life to save, friends to free from prison, and an orb to recover. All in all, a rather full schedule. Then be off with you. When you return, I'll make up the salve and send you on your way. For this, you will earn not only my gratitude, but that of the Wildcat tribe as well. I will return as soon as possible. Let's see where...
Let's see. Confound these shoes. Shoddy material. Tis a blight on our society. What? What do you want? Who are you? My name is Riff of the Fox Tribe. Hylas Pennyfoot is my name. Thy goods merchant extraordinaire is my name. I am, uh, looking for an old friend. A raccoon. Perhaps you've seen him. A raccoon? Hmm. Let's see now. No, I don't recall running across any raccoons lately. But if I do, I'll be sure to mention that you're looking for him. I would be most interested in seeing what you have. So then, what will be your pleasure? I would like to purchase the needle and thread. A wise choice. That will be a mere ten credits. Ten credits? I'm afraid I do not have that much on me. Then perhaps you have something you could barter for? All I have on my person are... The only thing I am interested in is that gold ring. I'd say that was worth ten credits. You are indeed a shrewd businessman, young fox. Farewell, friend Kylas. Safe journey, my friend. It's a small silver needle and some cotton thread. I didn't know these things were so expensive. I hope it's worth it. Looks like catnip. Interesting smell.
Let's see where we are. Hooray! Bees! And unless I miss my guess, those are definitely honeybees. That means there must be honey in that tree. Now I have tinder for a fire. All I need is a spark to light it. This is much too far for me to jump. I wouldn't want to take a tumble down that. Let's see where we...
I wonder what sort of mine this is. It doesn't look equipped for ore mining. Hmm, those stalactites look like jewels. This must be some sort of crystal mine. The larger part of the crystal is too firmly secured for me to remove. The larger part of the crystal is too firmly secured for me to remove. Fly away, little bees. I shall take a small portion of your golden treasure and see that it is put to good use. What have you found so far? This is excellent! Have you anything else for me? Good! You've gotten all the ingredients. I'll just go mix them up in the proper proportions, teach you to apply them, and send you on your way. You have earned my gratitude, along with that of the Wildcat Chieftess. The Wildcat Chieftess has long given me respect, and I her. Tell her I will keep her daughter in my thoughts. Master Rim, I have orders to let you pass. Good day! <coughs>
It's already in use. The salve has been applied and the wound sewn shut. I think she'll be fine. The medicine should take effect soon. Mother, mother, is that you? Yes, oh yes, Merp. At last we'll have a reason to celebrate in the village after so long. Your people certainly know how to celebrate, Prawa. Of course, it's because my daughter Merp shall live. You have earned our eternal gratitude, Griff. How can we ever repay you? My friends are still being held prisoner by Prince and his dog guards. I must rescue them. If you assist me in this, I would happily consider the debt paid. What did you have in mind? If my plan is successful, there will be no bloodshed. In fact, the dogs will never even know you were there. It is done. All of the sedative has been placed in the food supply. The rest is up to you. Excellent. Each dog who consumes the sedative will sleep for at least three hours. More than enough time for me to free my friends. But the sedative is not that strong. You will still have to be very quiet so as not to awaken any of the dogs. I will have to take my chances. It is the only way to save my friends. Our best wishes go with you. into the maze. <laughs> the prince is a light sleeper. I'd better move quietly. Thank you. 
I can't pick it up. I can't pick it up. I can't pick it up. No. Throw him in. Nice piece of fur. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
<laughs> I lose again. Again? Let us lap down a few in celebration. You lost, and I won. That's true. But I suspect you've been betting with my chips. A good drink and your chips are all that sustains me. Hey, I, I see a fox. Not that old trick. <laughs> You're not picking at my cards. Riff, you've returned. I knew you would. Let's go. case I say forget about dealing we should replay these very same hands again it was an entertaining hand agreed then give me some of your chips so that I may bet someone open a new bowl of wine now I see a, a fox a boar and an elk
fastenings are fastened pretty tightly. The larger part of the crystal is too firmly secured for me to remove. Allow me to try. It is too large. We will have to figure something else out. <clears throat> gentlemen, gentlemen, allow me to make a suggestion. You, Fox, are a fine puzzle solver and possess a quick wit. Fine attributes, to be sure. And you, Elk, are a fine archer and noble warrior. These two are enviable skills. However, when you need brute strength and pure power, just say, Ock. <laughs> Let's see. Let's... Let's see.
Hello. Kairos Hollyfoot is my name. Thy goods merchant extraordinaire is my name. I would be most interested in... So then. I would like to trade back the needle and thread for the ring. With my friend, I would be a poor businessman indeed if I would make such a trade. No, I'm afraid I cannot agree to such a bargain. Tell me, might you find any value in this crystal? Why, yes, yes indeed. So, we have a deal? Oh, we do indeed. The ring is yours, along with my fondest wish that it brings you good fortune. I see. Indeed. Farewell. Safe. strong legs and hooves. We already have that. According to the map, there should be a ferry here to take us across. That must be what this old boat is. But I don't see anyone to operate. All the better. We can just take the boat across ourselves. I wouldn't try that if I were you. What did you say? I didn't say anything. If he wants to cross Yon Cello, he had best ask me nicely. Hand it over and we'll be off. Aye, this be fine. It has a good weight and... Where did you get this? Far! You recognize it? That I do. But it does not bode well. We're off, lads. Settle back, it'll be a while. Perhaps I could answer a few questions for ye. No charge. Tell us about the wolves of the North Island. There be several tribes. The mountain wolves stay mostly to themselves. They don't like to be bothered. But should he run into one, he stand a chance of getting away alive. They sound lovely. The forest wolves are their friendliest. Just a bunch of big dogs, if you ask me. The snow wolves live far to the north. They're a small mostly nomadic by nature. They don't seem like a group that would want to have anything to do with the boar. Ah, the ones he has to look out for 
are called the Hunters of the Dark Claw. Who are they? They be the baddest bunch of thieving, murdering blackguards in all the land. They're the type that'll slit your throat and feed you to the vultures just for fun. Delightful. Who is their leader? Our leader be Gar. And he be the worst of the worst. If it's him what's mixed up with the boar, that means trouble indeed. What can you tell us about the North Island? Nothing good. Unless you're born there and know its ways. It can be mighty unfriendly to strangers. Is there anything we should look out for? Aye, everything. Don't turn your back on nothing. Might just be the thing what kills ye. Where is the camp of the Hunters of the Dark Claw? In the northeast part of the island. Don't let that fool ye go. They've got scouts and spies everywhere. And what is in the northern part of the island? Don't know. I hear stories about strange buildings. Maybe left thar by some dead tribe. Never been thar, though. Most what goes thar never comes back. What do you know about this ring? I know it belongs to a wolf captain, and that be no one to trifle with. Now where did you find it? Let's just say that I found it in the quarters of the leader of another tribe. Then there be an alliance. An alliance? What sort of alliance? That I know not. It could be anything from a simple trade agreement to a military alliance. That would depend on which wolf pack is making the alliance, and the tribe are making the alliance with. Suppose I said the alliance was made with the boars. Then hold on to your hat, laddie, cause suddenly I smells war in here. War? With whom? With anyone who gets in our way, that's who. Any wolf pack that would form an alliance with the boar is looking for trouble. Well then, we had best be on our way. By the time we get to the island, it'll be time to set up camp. Yes, we'd better get an early start if we plan to pick up the raccoon's trail. Raccoon? Ye be chasing the raccoon. Yes, what do you know about him? Nothing. I know it's nothing. Now leave me be. Good sir, lives hang in the balance. I've said too much already. Now leave me be, or so help me, I'll throw the lot of ye off me boat. I swear it. How can this raccoon possibly inspire such fear in a wolf? This is obviously no ordinary raccoon. At any rate, we shall find the answer on Yon Island. Perhaps. Perhaps the answer shall find us. So that's the North Island. Hello! Yo! Was it something I said? Who are you? Why are you here? We come in search of information about an orb that was stolen. An orb? What is this orb of which you speak? You do not know of the orbs? The orb of storms? The orb of hands? These words mean nothing to me. My name is Shiala. I live in these woods. You may continue in peace. But remember, I'll be keeping an eye.
Please, leave me alone. just have to trust our instincts. We're on the right trail. I can feel it. However, we must keep looking. After all, we can't expect the hunters to come to us. I have a plan. Attention! I hereby declare all of you my prisoners. Put down your weapons and form a straight line. <laughs> I didn't say it was a good plan. We can't expect them to come to us, huh? Eh? Well, surprise, surprise. We could have wandered for days before finding the camp of the Hunters of the Dark Claw, but luckily, here we are. Uh-huh. We're sitting here in a cage, held prisoner by a bunch of crazy wolves who are keeping us alive just for the pleasure of killing us later. Yeah, I'm feeling real lucky. Ah, you're alive, I see. Good. What is the meaning of this? Why have you attacked us? I guess I'm just a big bad wolf. <laughs> big bad wolf. That's great. Boss, you kill me. Don't tempt me. What do you intend to do with us? You, I have no use for. When it suits me, you shall die a slow death for my amusement. You, Fox, shall make a lovely ornament for my wall. Or perhaps a nice rug for me to wipe my feet on. Ha! Yeah. Thanks for dropping by. Don't be strangers now. My friends, make yourselves comfortable. It appears we may be here for a while. <clears throat> ah, good evening, gentlemen. At last we meet face to face. I understand you three have had quite a nasty time trying to find me. That is an understatement. Don't worry. These wolves will not harm you in any way. That's good. Until I tell them to. For now, let's have a nice chat. Who are you? Oh, forgive me. My manners are atrocious. My name is Chota. How do you do? Not well, thank you. Yes, I'm afraid it looks that way. <laughs> you are a long way from the rest of your tribe. My tribe? I have no tribe. I learned long ago that I am... Uh, different. Tell me, Chota, the Orb of Storms. Is it in your possession? Oh my, yes. I have it all right, and I intend to keep it. Why? So what if you can predict the weather? You are only one raccoon. There's only so much you can plant and harvest. Ah, my friend, you're not seeing the big picture. You see, the Orb of Storms is only a small part of a much larger force. A force which will enable me to actually control the weather. What? It's true. Can you imagine? <laughs> it will rain as long as I say it will, and it will stop when I say. It will be blazing hot or freezing cold at my pleasure. Floods or droughts at my command. And what will determine which weather you create? Why, the will of the people, of course. I am their servant. Naturally, they will elect me their governor. And what happens if the tribes do not elect you? Ah, then I'm afraid I'll have to take rather drastic measures. But fear not. As their governor, 
I shall put a stop to all of their silly arguing and squawking. There will be peace and goodwill. Or else the people die? You obviously have no appreciation for my plans. What do you intend to do with us? Well, I obviously cannot allow you to interfere with my plans. Therefore, I can either hold you in this cell, which I am sure you would find most distasteful, or I could simply kill you, which you would probably like even less. <laughs> you call those choices? I give you until tomorrow morning to decide your fate. May I suggest hanging? <laughs> it's quick, and ever so much less messy than beheading. <laughs> Since we can't seem to agree on these matters, perhaps you would be so kind as to leave us. I shall do so, but I will be back tomorrow. Meantime, sleep well, my friends, in preparation for the sleep eternal. <laughs> Shh! Quiet! It is I, Shiala. I've come to free you. And not a moment too soon. How did you know where to find us? I knew you would wind up here eventually. You were no match for these wolves. It's nice to know we inspire such confidence. <clears throat> there. I've cut the binds on the cage. You must hurry. The Dark Claw are out hunting now, but they will return before long. Gar's taste in furniture. That sheep looks pretty done to me. Let's see what...
Hmm, looks like the tracks have rusted. We can only open it a little bit. A narrow slot surrounded by lights. Evacuate? I wonder what it means by that. Looks pretty dead to me. But is it art? It's a thick black cable with little metal strands inside.
It's a thick... What is it? I'm not sure. It's very thin and flat, and it bends. Oh, good. We needed one of those. Hello. I was Heavyfoot is my name. Dry goods merchant extraordinaire is my name. I would be... So then, what... Excellent choice. It is a mere three pence. Well, my friends, it... Treasure. Oops. Did I say treasure? Forget it. We don't really have a priceless statuette dating back to the time of the humans, which is guaranteed to make us rich beyond our wildest dreams. Just forget I said anything. Priceless statuette? Rich? Yes. I can help you. I will take the statuette back to the No Lands and whip you there. Then you need not fear capture. How do we know you will not sell the statuette and keep the money for yourself? I will, uh, I will, uh, I will give you the lamp as an act of good faith. Very well. I shall place the statuette in your charge. See that you guard it well. Oh, I will, I will. I shall guard it with my very life. Farewell, friend Kylas. Safe journey, my friend. I can't figure out how to use it. I wonder what's behind there. This must be where Shiala lives. Amazing. Who would ever think of looking here? No one. That seems to be the whole... point. What are you doing here? We only entered this grotto out of curiosity. We meant no disrespect and certainly no harm. Had I wished to hit you, I would have. That was merely to get your attention. 
Now tell me, what is it you're here to learn? Of which pack are you a member? I belong to no pack. I belong only to myself. I was born of the forest wolves. A group of wolves broke away from the pack to form their own group. They promised freedom from pack responsibilities and a new and better way of life. My parents left the pack to go with them and took me along. And was it better? It was fine at first. Then the power struggles began. There were disagreements, fights, and finally, bloodshed. One wolf, the strongest and most vicious, assumed leadership, and all who opposed him were killed, including my parents. May I assume this new leader's name was Gar? That's right. When I ran away from the hunters, Gar swore revenge upon me. He told the forest wolves that if I was given shelter or helped in any way, he would burn their villages to the ground. So I became a fugitive. Of which pack are you a member? I belong to no pack. I was born... A... They... My... Uh. It was... There was... One wolf... That... When I... He took... So... Of which pack are you a member? I... I was... A... They... Uh. There were... One... Inc... May... That... When I ran... He told the... So I... Tell us about the Hunters of the Dark Claw. They are sadistic bullies who live to kill and enslave. They are totally without honor, and a blight on the name of Wolf. But they are very successful, and must have spies everywhere. This Gar must be a clever leader. That is part of the puzzle. Gar is a stupid brute. They are all stupid brutes. I cannot understand why they've been so successful unless... unless... Unless there is someone behind Gar. Exactly. But no one has ever been able to find out who. Do you know anything about a raccoon? There are rumors in the forest of an evil spirit which has taken the form of a raccoon. Evil spirit? Bah! We do not believe in spirits. Then you do not believe in life. All nature is but spirit which has taken form. Some for good, some for evil. But you have never seen this raccoon. I have not. But I don't have to see it to feel its presence. Something evil is out there. I know it. Is that your own vegetable garden? So, what of it? This is my lair, my lifestyle. Of course, some of my best friends are herbivores. I'm no herbivore. It's just that I like vegetables. What's wrong with herbivores? I've been one all my life. Plants? Creatures? I can eat either way. Enough! I'll eat what I choose, that's all. Indeed, an admirable ambition. Please forgive our intrusion. We will leave now if you wish. Perhaps it is I who should ask your pardon for my hasty reaction. You are not my enemy. You may stay and look around if you wish. I'll be right here if you need anything. A wolf that eats vegetables? Amazing! This must be where that she-wolf sleeps. What is this? I do not know. It is a type of rock I have never seen before. Sometimes I hear strange noises coming from behind it. And what is this triangle-shaped depression? Perhaps some artwork. Not very interesting, though. I can't figure out how to use it.
A wolf that eats A wolf that eats vegetables? Amazing! This must be where that she-wolf sleeps. Nothing to open, looks like. Hmm, looks like the tracks have rusted. We can only open it a little bit. Hmm, we can only... Hmm, we can... The oil should loosen it a bit. It's open. It's already closed. I wonder if the humans created these. Something clicked.
It's much too heavy for me to lift. It's a small. I didn't. It's a small. I didn't. Nothing to close. It's a thick black cable with... Good idea. Hey! There's no...